this is a beautiful Orthodox Christian icon. And in Orthodox Christianity, the idea is to give a kind of window into some spiritual belief, much as you were saying for the iconography in the synagogues, actually. Um, and you're supposed to look at it and meditate on it and receive some idea. Now, I don't belong to this tradition, and I'm no expert on interpreting Orthodox icons, but I know a little bit about it. And um, I was just looking at this and thinking about it. And it is, it is really an interesting image. And every single detail of these icons were planned out, you know, very, very, very carefully. Um, so I'm not going to do it justice by any means. Um, but just a, I had a few thoughts about it. First of all, you see three people. There are three different, three different individuals, so to speak. Um, now, from the Christian perspective, I think one of the advantages of this understanding of the Trinity is that it can show a relationship. Um, Hold on, uh, uh, Dr. Gruber. This is pro let's just put this in the context. This most probably is referring to the to the three to uh, the Lord and two others, right? To the three people coming to visit before no, Sodom and Gomorrah, or is that not? Yeah, no, I, it is. The mosaic is called the, the visitors mosaic. often. Right. And it is in reference to the three beings, three, the three one which visitors. turns out right. to be a God who goes yeah. and visits Abraham. Right. Yes, yes. But it, that's what's in Christianity called the Old Testament Trinity, you mean? Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those looking back onto a story and saying we see evidence of what we're going to interpret as the Trinity in that particular. Right. So if you look up at the top, um, it says in Old Slavic, Svitaya Troitsa, right. which is the Holy Trinity. So it's it's equating that scene with right. um, the later Christian conception of the Trinity. In other words, it's That's saying right. the two are the same. Right. And so you see three different individuals. Um, distinguishable in, in like space, in physicality. Um, what's very intriguing and clever about this image is that they all look very similar. So you, you, the more you look at it and meditate on it, you think, are they three or are they one? Which is, the, which is one of the points that they're trying to convey. So it's a really interesting image. Um, but my provocative point is, well, from the perspective of the Hebrew Bible, and Jewish understanding, you're only supposed to worship one. And in the Trinity, even if it's still monotheism, um, does it contradict this principle? I'm sorry, repeat that. I, I was reading an, an internal memo. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm just making the distinction between... No, just, the last, just the last portion. I'm sorry. I didn't yeah, yeah, listen. yeah. Monolatry. So monolatry. Basically, almost uh, is the Trinity monolatry. Or is it, you know, it may be monotheism, but is it monolatry? Thank you, Cindy. You put it better than I did. Okay. I, I Listen, I'm not as smart as I look. Uh, I did miss just because I, you know, it's an internal communication to keep running this webinar, right? So I had to look. So just the last, the, the last point, what is your problem with, with, obviously, I disagree with this interpretation, because I think it's a bad theology, what they did here, right? I mean, but what's your, in your question is, I'm sorry. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, first of all, not arguing for or against. I'm just raising okay. a question from the Jewish slash Hebrew biblical point of view. Okay. Which is which is that in the Hebrew Bible, what's most important is not to say there's only one God that exists and no other gods exist. So this is actually a difference between okay. the Hebrew Bible and the what was it the Westminster, um, Westminster catechism. catechism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not that other gods might not exist; they might, but we worship only one. Yeah, we worship only one being. Okay. Um, and here in the image of the the image of the trinity you you seem to have three beings which yeah but it, but it's like it's 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 to me this is I, I, this is an attack on the straw trinity i think in other words this is a very bad example of trinitarian thinking very very bad example although obviously because it is in the you know enshrined in the russian orthodoxy uh one of the main you know uh, nevsky lavra is one of the very important places um, but I would say I would say that this is you know you start you start um, analyzing this you could see the theological mistakes 
okay, very significant, serious theological mistakes. So, so I would suggest not to debate that wrong, I think, not even historic understanding of Trinity, but if we're debating is, is um, historic Trinity right or wrong, for example, uh, or at least, you know, think, it, you know, to what degree it may be or may not be, I, I think it's better for us to cut, to concentrate on what has been accepted by pretty much all uh, all Christians. And well, that, yeah. How, and that is more or less how I described it. Yeah, Although, can I, I say, there's something related here, and Ellie, I think this is something that you planned to get yeah. into, because in thinking about the Trinity, it, it really is thinking about the character of God, aspects of God, right? And so once the aspect of God is yes. divided God, and you end nature, up with logos. I think nature of God is the nature of my God. mind that you're thinking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you end up with logos, which, you know, which I think you're going to be talking about in a moment. Um, <laughs> then it, it is, we'll there it. is something there that it seems to hold a, how many gods are you going to present? Even if you put them under the umbrella of one. Yeah, um, so right. I think that's a little bit what I hear Dr. Gruber getting at is when you have this God who is one nature, but now you're going to talk about various natures of that God. It starts to split up that God into many. No, listen, then... I don't like, to tell you the truth, I don't like the Trinity discussion. Okay, I, I would also far prefer Dr. Gruber's uh, thinking and actually the apostolic thinking. They were not into that. I mean, uh, later scribes, had to add and the three are testifying in heaven remember father yeah. son and the holy spirit yeah. that's not an original there is nothing uh, there there is not nothing like that in the bible uh, later scribes had to insert it to make the trinity sound more biblical okay but i think at the very best you can get is is that is that uh, the trinity is something that you can arrive to just like in monogamy and, and the slavery that is wrong uh, based on this, but it's not anywhere near to being clear as the scribes tried to make it to be.